When Corpus Christi voters go to decide who will serve as the next mayor of our city, they will have six choices. Josh Frederick, a small business owner, is first on the ballot and has this message for voters. I would, I would encourage them to actually take a look at the KIII uh, candidate forum or candidate questionnaire. Uh, it, it's really, really telling to me. But, uh, you know, as far as where I stand, everybody knows I'm against the desalination and for the expansion of our public green spaces. Dr. Isabella Riza, a Del Mar College sociology professor, puts it succinctly. I'm the only candidate that has a philosophy about government where we treat government as a public good. We pull our resources to meet the needs of all residents in the community. The next two candidates on the ballot come with experience in local government. Current City Council member Michael Hunter. I'm the only candidate for mayor that has a proven track record for voting against tax fees and rate increases. I'm also the only candidate for mayor that has a proven track record that is willing to work with all the government and semi and quasi governmental entities and the people. And current mayor Paulette Guajardo. And I'm the only candidate who voted to lower the property tax rate in fiscal year 23-24. I'm also the only candidate who voted to fund both our police and fire departments. My priorities are very clear. Keep taxes low, fix our residential streets, and fund essential services. Both Hunter and Guajardo were first elected to the city council in 2016, with Guajardo becoming mayor in 2020. The final candidate on the ballot is local plumber Anthem Powers, who says his reasons for running may be less clear than the others, but he felt the need to offer himself as an alternative. Well, I'm not really sure why I'm running. I just kind of had a feeling I should. So I went ahead and did it, but I run mostly on instinct. All of the candidates for mayor agreed on the big items, including Anthem Powers. I think the water restrictions will become a major problem, but other than that, streets. My major thing is I'd like to get wages up in the area. Housing's doubled in price, food's doubled in price, wages haven't. Paul Etwajardo says that while building a seawater desalination plant is critical, that ball is already rolling, allowing the focus to continue in another area. We're fixing our residential streets, and I have made this a top priority. As your full-time mayor, I work to triple the funding for our repairs or for street repairs and supported a plan that uh, fixes our streets five times faster. Michael Hunter, who is also in favor of desal, brings the issue of water to the top of his list. The newly elected city council should be focusing on water. We're at 22% capacity right now. I know the citizens are concerned about their streets and the potholes, but water is definitely the main issue going into this new election cycle. Even those candidates who are opposed to desal in Corpus Christi know that leading a fight against it will take time and effort. Desalination is going to be the most important issue. It has the potential to impact a wide range of economic sectors as well as the utility rates for residents. Joshua Frederick agrees that it is an issue that has to be revisited. Right now, it is the desalination. It's incredibly uh, controversial. I am against it. As I mentioned, I am in favor of water reclamation instead. Uh, I, I don't want to see Corpus go down a, a bad path and, and, and really ruin our bay.